everybody. Welcome back to the field here at Day Air Ballpark. I'm Brad Eaton with the Dirt Podcast again. Joined here on the field today by Dragons infielder Nick Quintana. Nick, thanks for joining us today. Absolutely. Take a walk around the horn here and let's learn a little bit more about you. Yeah, let's do it. So tell me about your time here in Dayton now. You've been rotating around the infield a little bit, and that's probably something a little different for you, right? Yeah, yeah. Not used to it a little bit, but kind of getting my uh, getting the swing of things. So. Got it. So yeah. between the left side of the infield at third base and second base, what are some of the biggest differences that you notice as a player? Uh, just kind of more involved. Yeah. More involved in the game over at second. I've never really played second. Kind of always been at third base. Um, at second base, I have to be locked in every single play, every single pitch, no matter what. You know, third base, you know, I hate to say it, sometimes you do kind of doze <laughs> off a little bit. Um, but second base, you kind of got to be, you know, much more involved and focused and know exactly where you need to go and what you need to do way more than over there at third base. So. A lot higher percentage of balls come out to second base that you have to do something exactly, with, right? Exactly, exactly, yeah. But they come at you a lot quicker at third though, right? Yeah, at, th at third base, I think the key is just to... Uh, Survive? Just catch it. <laughs> and sometimes it can look ugly, sometimes it'll look really clean, but as long as you just catch the ball, it's an out. So, I mean, it's sometimes it's a little bit easier. Yeah, you got time to knock it down and recover if you need to, right? Yeah, yeah. Got it. So in college, you went to the University of Arizona as a Wildcat. Mm -hmm. Spent three years there before you got drafted. What was your college experience like? College was awesome. Um, I came in actually as, as recruited as a shortstop. And I kind of said, you know what, I'm not going to be a shortstop profile wise moving forward. I need to play third base. So I played third base and it was just amazing. Just I think hitting, fielding, just the teams that I had, that the players that I was playing with, uh, coaching staff was awesome. The crowd there in Tucson's amazing. Yeah, um, it was just, it was really, it was really awesome. It was a really cool experience to be part of. Yeah, kind of get you prepped a little bit for the pros having a crowd like that. Yeah, I mean, I would say on average we probably had maybe four or five thousand people. Wow, that's awesome. You know, that could be stretching the numbers a bit, but I mean, that's whatever. Was, <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's there's something different about playing in front of a crowd you know, like 2,000 people versus like 200. It's right. just, you know, the adrenaline goes through the roof and it's a lot more exciting and, you know, games are better. Yeah. Yeah. So after Arizona, you get drafted by the Tigers organization, spend a few years there. And then, so our fans realize you actually came over in the Tucker Barnhart trade. Yeah. At the end of uh, 2019, I think it was. Or no, 2021, right? 20, yeah, this past off season, yeah. So yeah, so this is your first year in the Reds organization. First now. year. Tell us what that's like, right? As, as a pro now going from one major league organization to the next, is it completely different? Is it all just the same and you're in a different uniform? What's it like as you for a player? It's a little bit of both, honestly. Um, some organizations do things differently than other organizations would do it, just kind of like structurally and you know maybe day to day. But mm -hmm. ultimately it's really all the same. Like you said, different uniform. Um, different colors. Um, I was I thought it was kind of cool when I found out that I was being traded because pretty much every team that I've ever played for has been red. Yeah, has been <laughs> has been red. So it's like all my like old gear back home is like red navy, red and white, red and black, and I'm like, kind of kind of makes sense. Right, kind of makes sense, and we weren't red again. But yeah, um, no, it's really cool. It's just it's just a different uniform, d different team name. Um, I love it here. They've, you know, the Cincinnati Reds, they've treated me with just the utmost respect and, and they've been truly awesome since the day that I was traded. That's great. And, you know, couldn't be happier. Very cool. So last question before we let you get out of here, what do you do when you're not at the ballpark, right? I know you guys spend a ton of time here at the stadium, but what's life like for you when you're not here? Honestly, uh, not really all that much. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I take my rest so serious. Um, I know some guys will, you know, want to go to the mall or you go golfing, and I'm just, I don't know how you guys have the energy to do that. I want to just knock out and, you know, I'll, I'll go get some groceries for the week. Yeah. Not a whole lot, kind of catch up on, you know, some movies or some shows or, you know, whatever the case may be. But really, you know, it may sound boring, but just not a whole lot of anything. Truly you know, taking that downtime to oh, heart, right? right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> taking that downtime to recover 
and you know it, for me it's much needed yeah you know because you know when I step in the batting cage or you know when I get on the field I need a couple extra swings to kind of like ah you know loosen okay, up yeah. loosen up I'm good so the 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 time that I have to you know really just rest yeah you know it's, it's vital so it's huge for me that's awesome well hey you guys have gotten off to a great start this year yeah. we hope that everything keeps going well for you and thanks so much for joining us around the horn appreciate it